the 10 16 2021 per the president's own information to parliament which was brought to the finance minister the president indicated that he would no longer be giving contract extensions to any public servant except their expertise is scarce and in demand now you have a situation where the predecessor of the current commissioner general was Kofi Inti, Mr. Kofi Inti. Mr. Kofi Inti had a four-year contract. Two and a half years into Kofi Inti's contract, he turned 16. The president terminated Kofi Inti's contract and appointed Reverend Amishadai. So the precedence was set. Even though Kofi Inti had a four-year contract, two and a half years when he turned 60, they didn't say complete the remaining one and a half years of your contract. He was asked to go home. And the Commissioner General, Reverend Amishadai, was brought into office. In 2021, when he turned 60, his contract ended. He has worked through 2022, above the age of 60. 2023, above the age of 60. And in 2024, is continuing in a year he will turn 63 for three years post his 60th birthday without a contract so he has absolutely no legal basis to remain as commissioner general of the gra in fact someone else who with him turned 60 kennel damwa was asked to proceed on leave so why is amishadai still being kept at the gra and it is in this period, it should be very interesting and, and it should be of concern to us, it is in this period that he's gone ahead to sign the 100 million uh, contract with SML, the consolidated contract for five years. So he signed 100 million Ghana cities, that's just one contract, at a time where he himself has no legal basis, has no contract. He, he, he doesn't have a contract extension. And his answer to the board should be to the, to the committee should interest you. The Commissioner General is a member of the board. Yet he says he's unaware because a letter has been sent to the board asking for ratification, a board he is part of. He finds it prudent to sit as a commissioner general of GRE, two years going, he's entered his third year without a contract, and he thinks that he's doing right. And SML is just one of several, several contracts that have been entered into in the past two years by the GRE under the directorship of a man who has no legal basis. Look, Ghana is becoming a crime scene. And the president must answer. And look, this, I've had to raise this here because this is not the first time. On the 9th of February, 2023, Joy FM carried a story. 9th of February, 2023, almost a year ago. It's barely two weeks to a year. You carried a story where Professor Ransford Jampo wrote to President Akufado, drawing President Akufado's attention to this. So the president cannot say he doesn't know. Members of the academia have spoken about this. Civil society even wanted to carry out a demonstration on the 14th of January this year. They weren't given the room to, to demonstrate against the GRA. We cannot continue. We're a country of laws. The president must let us know if he and the sector minister, Ken Foriata, who is insisting on putting Amisha Dai in office, what the motive is. Why is Ken Foriata and President Akufado insisting against our public services commission's regulations to put a man who's gone beyond 60 in office for more than two years without a contract. The Ghanaian people deserve to know. Maybe Reverend Amishada has unmatched skills and so we shouldn't be bothered about his age, we should be worried about if he's able to deliver or not. Unmatched skills in revenue generation really and we have less than 25% of our working population paying taxes. Is that, is that sign of someone who has a much skill? But let me even for the purposes of this conversation accept that he has a much skills. He would need a contract. So if he had such in-demand, unavailable skill set, it doesn't negate the fact that he remaining in office for two years and has entered his third year without a contract is an illegality. You cannot work in the public service without a contract. So on what basis has the controller and accountant general been paying him? <laughs> Do you see the questions that are coming up?